is it. This is Italy. Italy, the Italian Republic. Italy is a country, a peninsula, and it is bounded by the Alps, and it has several islands surrounding it. This is its territory. This is its geographical region. Italy is located in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea in southern Europe. It is also considered part of the Western Europe and Rome is its capital and it is its largest city. Italy it shares land borders with France, Switzerland, Austria, Slovenia, and the Vatican City. This is Italy, but there is something sinister about Italy. There is something lurking about in the shadows of Italy, trying to be inconspicuous trying to stay hidden. That something is the fraudulent nature of Italy. It's the lie that Italy is built on. It's the deception that Italy is so proud of. It's the theft that was committed. And this theft is called Italy. the current Italy in the so-called Europe. That Italy is a fraud, it's a lie, it's a deception. That's not Italy, that's not its location, and that is not Europe. We have been lied to, we have been deceived on a grand scale of deception. The English word Italy is from the Latin word Italia, spelled I-T-A-L-I-A. -A. Italia is from Gallia, spelled G-A-L-L-I-A. -L -L -A. And Gallia is from Gaul, and that is spelled G-A-U-L. This also includes Galatia. We learn of Golanitis from the writings of Josephus and Eusebius. Both of these men, and both of them were black, they used the term Golanitis in reference to Golan. Golanitis is their rendition, their rendering of Golan, spelled G-O-L-A-N, Golan. Golan is scriptural. We find that in the Torah, in the Old Testament, Golan it's the land where Moses designated as a city of refuge. And this land, it was in the territory, the tribe of Manasseh. And this land 
that has been given to Manasseh, this city of refuge, is in the region of Mount Hermon. So the Golan, again, is a city of refuge in the tribe of Manasseh. And those were the people occupying that location, Manasseh, the Hebrews, the original black Jews. But as time went on, after the invasion of the Pelagian Greeks, the so-called Romans, after they destroyed Jerusalem, Judah, and Israel, and the tribes, they were dispersed. The tribe of Manasseh was no longer inhabiting Golan. As time went on, other people moved in and inhabited the Golan area. And these people were Greeks. So this is where the word Gaul come from. It comes from the writings of Josephus and Eusebius. Gaul is the rendering of Josephus and Eusebius in reference to Golan. Golan is scriptural, but Josephus and Eusebius, they call it Golanitis. So that's where we get the word Gaul from. And Gaul is said to be situated east of the Jordan. And some scholars and commentators and the like try to make Magdala the city or region where Golan was located, the historical Golan. But nonetheless, the word Gaul is Josephus' rendering, it is Eusebius' rendering of the word Golan. And this is where the, in the Middle East, they have the Golan Heights, that is the fraudulent location. And that is it, uh, not only fraudulent, the word Heights was never added to Golan. But Golan is scriptural. Josephus called it Go, uh, Golanitis. When the Caucasian came on the scene, he took this word Golanitis, shortened the word to Gaul, and built many false theories about Gaul. And one of these theories is the one that we're looking at now, and the Caucasian added other terminologies, such as Celts, the Celtics. The Caucasian used this word Celtic to refer to the Gaul. Gaul is Golan, that's a city of refuge. But the Caucasian made Gaul out to be a people. He made them out to be a people and he added another term which is Celtics and he added another term which is the Druids. And this is the deception of the Caucasian. All this happened during the 18th and 19th century. These are the centuries of whitewashing, of rewriting history. That's when all this occurred. The word Gaul does not refer to a people. It refers to the city of refuge. We find Golan in Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 41 and 43. We also find Golan in the book of Joshua, chapter 20, verse 8, chapter 21, verse 27. And in 1 Chronicles, chapter 6, verse 71. But the Caucasian has taken that city of refuge. And he has taken the word of Josephus and Eusebius, Golanitis, and out of thin air, created a people that never existed. There is no such thing as a people called the Gauls. They never existed. Again, Gaul is from Golanitis. Golanitis is from Josephus and Eusebius. Both men were saying Golan. That was their way of saying Golan. And Golan is scriptural. Golan is a city of refuge. So that's where we get the word Gaul from. And from Gaul, the relation of Gaul and Galilee is that Gaul or Golan is situated in Galilee. Galilee is a region. Golan is a city and Galilee is a region of land where Golan was situated in.
the location of Cisalpine Gaul, which again, that's Lower Galilee, that location was called Europe. And keep in mind, we are in Africa, in Namibia, Southwest Africa. Galilee, Upper Galilee and Lower Galilee. As time went on, in the fourth century AD, those areas were called Italy. In the first century AD, Galilee, the Upper and Lower, they were called Galilee. But as time went on, the terms changed. The fourth century came around and the term was Cisalpine Gaul and Italy. But Lord Galilee was called Europe and Europe was divided into two parts. And Europe refers only to Lord Galilee. The western part of Galilee of Lord Galilee was called Western Europe. The eastern part of Lord Galilee, the eastern part is where Bithynia is. The Byzantine Empire is located in Bithynia, and Bithynia is in Lord Galilee. But Bithynia and the Byzantine Empire, that was considered the eastern part of Europe. West of Bithynia is the western part of Europe. All this is in Lower Galilee, in Namibia, Southwest Africa. So the location of Cisalpine Gaul, which is Lower Galilee, that was called Europe. Europe was divided into two parts, Western and Eastern Europe. And all this began in the fourth century AD. The original black Jews, they did not use these terms because they were not in usage. They were not in circulation in the first century AD. All this happened after the disciples died. The disciples, they live in the first century AD. And again, the term Cisalpine, Transalpine, Italy, Europe, Gaul, Celts, and the Moor, these are terms of the fourth century AD. And Gaul was a region of Western Europe. Western Europe is Lower Galilee. From this we see that the original Europe is in Africa, in Lower Galilee. And the only purpose for all these terms that apply to the same geographical reason, the only purpose for the semantics by the Caucasian is to cause confusion and when you cause confusion, you effectively get rid of truth. Because where there is confusion, there is no truth. This is Italy, or so we are told. This is the shape of Italy, its current shape its current location, supposedly, in the so-called Europe. But Europe and Italy, they are not located outside of Africa. Europe and Italy both are located in Africa, in Namibia. And this land mass, this peninsula, this is a copy of the Cape Cross area in Africa, this peninsula here, we can see the shape of it, the shape of a boot. This peninsula, this is the real one, located in Africa, in Namibia, Southwest Africa, the region is currently called Cape Cross. This is not its historical name, this is the modern name, Cape Cross. But this is the shape of this peninsula located in Africa. And as we can see, it shapes like a boot. This is the origin for this fraudulent one. This is the real one in Africa. This 
is fraudulent. This is not Italy. This was never called Italy in history either, but the Caucasian has stolen the shape of this peninsula and created a fraudulent one and placed it it is outside of Africa in the so-called Europe, in the land of beings that are not human. And it is these beings that are not human, their descendants. These are the ones who need a history for themselves and they are still in the history, land, and identity of the so-called Gauls, the black people of Galilee, of Namibia in Africa. But this is the real peninsula that the Caucasian has called Italy. This is where the Caucasian get this from. This comes from here. This is the real one. This is the original one. This is the real so-called Italy, but Italy, the term never applied to this here in the fourth century AD. That was applied to Galilee, Upper Galilee and Lower Galilee. And Europe was applied to Galilee, the western part of Galilee, and the eastern part of Galilee. The western part was called Western Europe. The eastern part of Lower Galilee was called Eastern Europe. And the eastern part of Galilee, the region is Bithynia, where the Byzantine Empire was located. Now this is the peninsula. This is where the Caucasian has formulated the so-called Italy. It comes from here, from Africa, from this peninsula in the Cape Cross area. This is another snapshot of the same peninsula the same boot-shaped peninsula in the Cape Cross area. Location is Africa. The Italy that the Caucasian claimed that is in Europe. Italy is not in Europe. The original Europe is in Africa. And it is in the lower Galilee area. And again, the term Italy is a term that applies to Galilee, lower Galilee. The term Italy comes from Gallia. Galilee is Gaul and Galatia. These are all the same geographical land area. These are just different terms that apply to the same land area. These are the coordinates of this peninsula that the Caucasian copied and called it Italy. This is it here where it comes from. Again, this peninsula is located in Africa, in the Cape Cross area. Thank you.